I think Nick Cassidy can go flat out in his final lap. Well, we're on the final lap then now. Lap 29 out of 29. It's Verline that leads. Mitch Evans then going for the outside line into the first corner. Dennis versus Verne once again down into T1. But what's happening for the lead? Evans has taken over from Verline. He leads in the Jaguar as we come down through turn two and turn three. But is he going to hold it to the end of this one? That's the question. And can Cassidy do anything to try and challenge for this victory? What an overtake there from Mitch Evans. Right round the outside of turn one. He's been eyeing that up the whole race. He's He's put himself in a good position, needs to defend now. But the energy that Nick Cassidy has got, has he got time to deploy it? Here so comes Cassidy. Left. He's trying to go around the outside of Verline. It's very close in the, between them in turn six. Verline still on the inside here as we ride on board with Nick Cassidy. Cassidy really needs to get aggressive. He can feel the victory slipping through his fingers. 0.9% of energy left for Pascal Verline at this stage in this one. Cassidy's got more expendable energy, but has he got time to be able to use it? It's Jaguars first and third at the moment. As we head into the final sector, it's surely going to be one at a time unless we get a dive bomb for the lead. On the outside goes Nick Cassidy for third place. Verline tries to defend. De Costa versus Roland as well for fourth place. Side by side they go through the final corner. Mitch Evans is going to take the win in Shanghai. Evans does it. Second place for Verline. And third goes to Nick Cassidy with Roland taking fourth at the checkered flag. What a dramatic conclusion here in China. A fantastic e -prix. And it's Jaguar on top. Once again, Mitch Evans takes his second victory of the season.